One of the things that I've done as part of the future expansion is I've been looking on eBay for inexpensive buildings. One of the assorted buildings that I had purchased came in. This was a box with many different buildings in various conditions. I mean, some of these are rougher than others. So here's a um, example, and here's another example of some rougher built kits. Even some of the ones that look very nice, there's some issues with them. You can see the top is off this building there where that dome would be, but this is painted very beautifully detailed. I absolutely love it. And um, in the box itself were all these buildings. So some structure. Some of these, like I say, are far better than others. I'm not sure I'll use all of them on the layout. I certainly have a number of stations already. But um, for the price, I definitely couldn't pass this up. In fact, I'm going to be having a couple more boxes coming very soon uh, filled with buildings. And for all of these kits, I paid approximately 60, $61 plus, I think it was $20 shipping and handling. So you can't pass that up. I mean, even one of these kits, uh, brand new, uh, costs, you know, what is it, maybe about $40. So, and here I was able to get so many kits in relatively good condition for the most part. And they're already built. I can do some detailing and just put them on the layout. So one of the things is model railroading can be extremely expensive. I know as I was building the, uh, the layout between Murfreesboro and uh, East St. Louis, that was during COVID and buying kits, finding building kits was extremely difficult and could be expensive. Now that COVID is seemingly over, there's a lot of deals to be found on places like eBay if you take the time to look. Welcome back. I'm going to provide a very brief update on the progress this week on the expansion. As you can see, Leslie and I have been hard at work on the Walther's Blast Furnace. This is one section that we've essentially got completed. Still have to do weathering, painting, all kinds of stuff associated with it, but getting things done. I, one of the things I've been doing this week is kind of realigning some of the track right around here in the Granite City area. I've got a lot of buildings that came in this past week. I'll show those in a little bit. And I, some of my feeders have come in and I've been dropping feeders in. So over here, we're in Wood River. I've got a couple of these tank kits. Uh, this came in this week. Those were part of the cheap uh, lot that I got on eBay. Actually one of several cheap lots on eBay. As you can see, I've been dropping in feeders, dropping in feeders. Got a new tower over there that also came in this week as part of the cheap lot on eBay. And all of these buildings over here. I don't really know uh, if that's prototypical or not, but I'm gonna call that good for part of the um, outside the Wood River and then coming over into Juan. More buildings came in as part of that lot. Uh, the Juan Yard. And here we are in Alton. More buildings came in as part of these cheap eBay lots. Dropping in feeders. I essentially have a whole town uh, from all of those kits that came in. Some of them need a lot of work, got to put roofs on, that sort of thing, but uh, very inexpensive and very happy with the way that it's turning out. So we've left Alton and we're now coming in to 
Carlinville. These were also part of the inexpensive eBay lot, as were many of these. Uh, this week I also uh, actually built that building right there. That's a old Bachman kit. Then we're coming up here and coming into Springfield, Illinois. So here we are, Springfield. Got engines over there. Springfield over here is going to be the lake uh, just north of Springfield. Gonna have a little hotel recreation area over there. A barn. A couple of the houses. And then we're coming in to downtown McLean. There'll be a station over here and a couple industries as well. And now we're coming into Bloomington. And over here we've got the big Bloomington yard. and then engine facilities. So this is kind of where I am as far as the expansion today. I ended up getting quite a few building kits this past week off of eBay, very inexpensive, and they add a lot to the expansion. Over here is part of the blast furnace that Leslie and I have been working on this evening. I need a paint that as well. So I have feeders all over my uh, layout, the uh, level below where I'm building. And so I need to start getting these feeders wired up. That's one of the things I'm hoping to accomplish this week. However, I also realize I'm very short on feeders. I thought I would have enough and I placed, uh, I, I, I didn't. I've used them all. I just placed an, an order for some more. And as I'm counting, I think I even underestimated that. So we'll see. I've got plenty to keep me busy as far as the wiring wiring is concerned. So I've got plenty to, so I have plenty to keep me busy this week, but boy, this blast furnace, this is quite an impressive structure. And it's gonna be a, a definitely a a dominant industry on the layout, Granite City Steel. So something else that came in this week is this Kato SDP-40F. One of the cool things about this expansion is I'm going to have Amtrak operations on it. If you know anything about the history of the Bloomington line, it was one of the most frequently popular routes into Chicago. And even in the 1980s, there were approximately, depending upon the year, I believe four to five Amtrak trains per direction per day, which is quite impressive. So Amtrak's going to be a big part of this layout. It's really cool because I've never done passenger operations in the past, and I think this is going to be a really neat addition to this layout. The other thing, of course, is because half the trackage between Granite City to Wood River was Penn Central Conrail, I'm going to be um, modeling also Penn Central Conrail on the layout. So I'll have uh, quite an extensive Amtrak operation, the Illinois Central Gulf, as well as Conrail, Penn Central. So there's going to be quite a lot of action and quite a, and the three railroads associated with the line. So I'm looking forward to uh, kind of flushing that out in the future.
So I know I've thrown quite a bit of information in a very short video, but I just wanted to provide a brief update on what I've been doing this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week.